wanted to do um, a quick update on how some of my Symbidiums are doing. So this is a Symbidium Vanessa Amorosi and it was supposed to have three different flower buds on it. You can see right here. But when I was moving, it kind of broke off. So I'm really happy that I have one flower because um, I almost didn't have any. <laughs> um, so this Cymbidium is really popular. I see it all the time online. It's very widely available if you live in the U.S. If you buy Cymbidiums online, I see them in almost every online nursery, um, this particular hybrid. And they look different in pretty much every picture that I see. Like the one that I bought, it was supposed to have more elongated petals, um, but it is more rounded. And I've seen some petals where the lip is much brighter pink or some pictures where the lip is much brighter pink, like almost neon. Um, but this is how mine looks like. I feel like, I don't know. I really like it actually. I like it a lot better. I like rounded petals a little bit better than longer ones. But yeah, very pretty. So um, we're gonna move over here because I think I have some flower spikes developing. I have this one right here and this is from Symbidium's Penny's Worth. Um, and I got this from Orchid Insanity. Um, so when I was reading about flower spikes versus, oh here, hold on, oh, there's a little weed, but it's yeah, Cymbidium's Penny's Worth, Cymbidium Penny's, Ugh, this leaf keeps getting in the way, Worth. So this is supposed to have pendu pendulous um, hanging flowers and they're going to be like a really pretty light pink. So when I was reading about different flower spikes and telling the difference between flower spikes and new growth, what I read was new growth tends to be pointier like this um, and flower spikes tend to be more rounded. But um, my Cymbidium Vanessa had very pointed flower spikes too. So I'm not really sure this might be a new growth or it might be a flower spike. Um, either way, I'm happy with it. It's just a sign that my orchid's doing well and it's happy and it's growing. I have what is definitely a um, flower spike over here and it looks very different um, from the other one. It's actually blooming on a back bulb, which is really surprising um, because it tried to bloom for me twice on this newer growth but like accidents happen and the bloom stalk broke off both times just with like moving it and watering it and then like in the moving process because I moved houses but it's blooming for me again through a back bulb so that's really exciting. I think this is Cymbidium Kylie Momo or it might be Street of Gold and Street of Gold is a Cymbidium I see very frequently on online nurseries too. But this is, um, this is, I think it's Kylie Momo. But we'll see, we'll see when it blooms. I'm really happy that it's actually blooming for me because I didn't expect it to because bloom stocks broke off twice here. But yeah, so those are my Cymbidiums that seem to be doing well. Um, and putting off new growth. It's only these three and I have quite the collection of them. Right now they're in a southern window and it's just starting to get really cold. So hopefully the drop in temperature is going to trigger more blooms um, because cymbidiums do need a temperature drop in order to bloom. So it's like, it's around like 58 in my house pretty consistently now and we just had summer so Really hoping that the, the temperature change will cause blooms to start spiking. So yeah.